Everybody, this is your boy Darkblade XX at Dark Enforcers Esports Gaming Network, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. What's going on? What's good with you, pimp? And we're doing good things. As you can see, in the title of this video, we are in the T7 raid known as Prison Break, doing the feat Mechanical Difficulties. This takes place at the first boss fight. And just so you know, this is a first attempt. So, if you mess up with this feat, you're going to have to disband and start over. Unless you want to go to the rest of the raid just to get the, you know, gear marks and other feats, maybe. But as far as this feat's concerned, it's a fail if you ever mess up at this. Now, the definition of this feat is as follows. On the first attempt, or maybe I shouldn't be saying that first, maybe I should be saying that later. Anyway, during this raid, never allow any of the mechanics to repair any of the adherents on the first attempt at defeating the boss, which is Captain Carlson. Now, let me put it another way, like back to what I was originally going to say. On the first attempt while you're fighting Captain Carlson, do not allow any of the turrets to be re- Repaired. If any turret is repaired after you destroy it, the feat is fail. So how do you get said feat? Well, it's not as easy as you think, but in a way, it is as easy as you think. A lot of people have this notion or idea that you have to take down all the turrets and then defend them. No, you don't. You don't have to do it at all. The easiest thing for you to do is just destroy one turret and that's it. And then just defend said turret. The more turrets you take down, the more turrets you have to defend. So if you just take down one, you're good. For the most part, you usually have an average of one to two turns tucking down when you're doing this fight anyway. So you don't need to take down any other turrets. Just worry about the one or the two. Now, anybody who's watched any of my feet videos know that I do it from perspective of you being able to just come in here. So I'm going to suggest 150 for the whole group, at least. And that's like at the minimum, at least at that minimum. With that said, let's work on some strategies. Now, um, your group makeup can be whatever you want. I suggest one tank. You don't really need to have two, but if you want to have two, go ahead. There's really nothing wrong with it. But I would suggest having just the one tank. One okay, tank, the maybe two healers. Actually, yeah, you probably want to go with two healers at that CR mm -hmm. level. Seems you know, of just coming in here. Two healers, one tank, one troll. You only need one troll. We're gonna do all Make sure your troll can support. stun so ads. Right Not just be, debuff uh, them, uh, stun. You know, keep them frozen. That area, and That's a good thing, like too. An, uh, and then the rest of your group is all we DPS. That's my suggestion, but once again, take from this what you will and do what you like. Now, as far as your places and positions, everyone needs to be on the side of the turn as they are right now. Just stay put there the whole entire fight. Yes, the whole entire fight. Now, as far as the tank, you're going to be the only one away from the group. Everybody is going to have to do distance, aka range damage. If you guys can't do that, you probably shouldn't be going for this feat. At least not at those CRs. Wait till you're leveled up and it doesn't matter where you stand at. However, the tank, which I'm not doing right now, should be in front of that pole where you see my other teammates standing right now. That way the tank is not taking every hit from the turrets in the room. But as you can see, I'm not really doing that right now. But that's where you should be standing. Now the reason everybody is going to be standing right, right next to the turret is because the other turrets, especially the one up there at the top of the room, has to shoot through that turret to hit the group. And that turret will shoot through that turret, aka damaging said turret. Now, everybody's right there next to that turret right there on the screen. That means, and uh, yeah, they're not doing it as you can see in the video, but that means that that turret next to them is the only turret getting damaged, which means it's the only turret they have to worry about getting repaired, which also means there's only going to be one mechanic to come into the room to try to repair it. As I said earlier in the video, the more turrets you have destroyed, the more mechanics come into the room to try to repair them. So potentially you can have all four turrets down and then have four mechanics come in to try to repair them. But you want to try to have the least amount of mechanics, that way you don't have to worry about too much. 
Like in this video, you see we took down two turrets, and usually that's what happens when we come into this raid. You usually take down about two. About one or two. But try to only take down the one turret so that only one mechanic comes in, because you can pretty much drop a mechanic with the quickness. So, so pretty much what you're going to want to do is just rinse and repeat this. You work on the boss, the turn goes down, you work on the boss, the mechanic comes in to try to repair the machine, the mechanic gets close, the troll stuns the mechanic, the group burns the mechanic down, kills it, the group then focuses back on the boss, and then rinse and repeat that until you finally defeat the boss. Now remember, those mechanics are going to keep coming into the room until the boss is defeated. Which makes it even more important that at a low CR you only worry about the one turret being down, not more than one. This feat is easy to get, but it's made harder when you're at a low CR and you take out more than one turret. So I hope this has helped you out, guys. Leave a comment or anything that you guys want to say in the comment section below, and I will get back to you and try to answer some of your questions. Thanks for watching, guys. Dark Enforcers, Darkness Rises.